What's up guys, Kalani here, and we're lucky enough today to have Andre here. He's going to explain us the current migration between Vela's legacy and Vela's native and what that means for our blockchain. Okay. Take it away. So, let me explain what is Vela's blockchain and why it's unique right now. So, first of all, we have one ledger. This is blockchain database where we store all information coming from the world. But this laser supports two different virtual machines. EVM. EVM is Ethereum virtual machine. And Solana. Solana is Solana virtual machine. Both these machines are supported by this laser. So it means that any DAP built for Ethereum can come to Velos and run the DAP on Velos without any developer costs, any developer spend time. And same Every Solana developer can come to Velos and build his DAO. And also, we can swap uh, tokens between Solana and Ethereum and vice versa anytime, one to one, without extra fees inside the blockchain. So we support both infrastructures of Ethereum and Solana. And it's going to take like Forever. Yeah. It's not going to change, it's in perpetual. That's why we need to so At like some point in the future, we'll maybe add another so, one. Like yeah. Tron VM or yeah. EOS VM, whatever. Yeah. We'll Solana see. can support only Solana ecosystem. If developer comes with a Ethereum DAP, he needs to rewrite and spend lots of time to run it on Solana and vice versa. But we accept both. That's why we are. Uh, you need to the fastest EVM Yeah, processor. because EVM is just a execution model, but everything else is perfect in Solana. So we use communication model between nodes, governance model of Solana, because it's fastest and it uses the uh, latest science, what you know, today. Yeah. today. All right, guys, there you have it. That is what Vela's is now, and that is a little bit of information on the recent migration and the upgrade of the blockchain. Hopefully that helped you guys out.